Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. No matter where you go, we in the ghetto, we in the slums. But God said, if you don't listen to me, curse shall be what? Curse shall thou be in the city. How we curse in the city? We live in the ghetto, pissy hallways. Police running through our neighborhood every five minutes. Yeah. Right. Avalanche. Yeah. Young men getting killed left and right. right. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. How we curse in the field. We work, 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 and we never able to provide or take care of ourselves. Right. Doing double shifts, triple shifts. When it say curse in the field, this that curse in the field. H. We picked all that cotton. We built this country off our backs. Right. America is what it is today off of free slave labor from us. H. Bring it out. We are the only ones that fit this. When you read these bad things that God said was gonna happen to the Israelites, we the only ones connect with that. We the only ones going through that. I'm gonna ask you, we trying to find God, what we find? No. No, I said, if we're trying to find God, where do we look for him at? Oh, the Bible. In the Bible. Yeah. It didn't say going to a building. It said what? Read. Say ye out the book of the Lord and read. This is the book of the Lord. If I want to find out anything about God, I got to come right here. Because in churches, a lot of times, this is what you get. This is what you get fed. You can put that down. That's what we get fed. You get somebody else's thought of God. You're not getting what God really requires of you. Read. Say ye out the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fail. Uh -huh. None shall want her mate. Meaning everything in this Bible that either happened already or haven't happened yet. So, did you know that you are an Israelite? Let's show you that real quick. Deuteronomy 28. You got to know who you are. Knowing who you are, you will learn what? Easter is not fun. Okay. That's another man's holiday. That's another man's creation. And it ain't in the book that's about my people. This book is about your people. Right. Real quick, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Before you read that, why do you think this happened? That's something else. We go to school, they be like, blacks went into slavery. Why? Bring it out. If I go to my pastor, can I ask my pastor, why did we get put on slave ships? Why were we getting lynched? Why is this the same city Martin Luther King got hit with a brick in Chicago in his head? This city is segregated. Why do we go through all these things? The Bible got the answers. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So that was Moses talking to who? These people on this sign. You see the 12 tribes sign? Yeah. Those are the people of God. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. That's right. Moses was told to go to us and tell us, God said, look, if you do what he say, he's going to bless you, give you everything you want. If you don't do what he say, bad things is going to happen to you. We're going to read some of the bad things. Give me verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. When you look at any race of people, who is cursed? Who is having bad things happen to them wherever they live in? Black people. That's it. Black and Hispanic and Native Americans. Bring it out. We the only ones, no matter where you go. We in the ghetto. We in the slums. But God said, if you don't listen to me, curse shall be what? Curse shall thou be in the city. How we curse in the city? We live in the ghetto, pissy hallways. Police running through our neighborhood every five minutes. Right. Avalanche. Yeah. Young men getting killed left and right. right. Read. And curse shall thou be 
in the field. How we curse in the field. We work, 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 and we never able to provide or take care of ourselves. Right. Doing double shifts, triple shifts. When it say curse in the field, this that curse in the field. H. We picked all that cotton. We built this country off our backs. Right. America is what it is today off of free slave labor from us. H. Bring it out. We are the only ones that fit this. When you read these bad things that God said was gonna happen to the Israelites, we the only ones connect with that. We the only ones going through that. When it say cursed in the city, wherever you went, if you ran off the plantation, you had nowhere to hide. They was finding you, tracking you down, cutting your foot off, killing you, raping you, selling your kids. You know how many families they broke apart? Imagine you got three kids. They take two of your kids, they send them to New York, send you to Alabama, and send a little baby to Kansas. They just broke up your whole family. We the only ones went through that. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's what I was just speaking on. You see right here. We getting sold, examined. That's an auction block right there. When you see movies like Roots, 35, 45, sold. Being on us like we was cars. How is that still happening today? DCFS. They can come to your house. Oh, she an unfit parent. Take the kids off of something that they examine, that they feel. We are the only ones going through this, but don't forget why. Because we don't keep God's commandments. We don't follow the rules that God gave us. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. It's people that be fighting. When they get their kids taken, it's so hard for them to get their kids back. During slavery, we couldn't do nothing. Your child got sold to Kansas, it was a wrap. You'll never see your child again. Today, sometimes you won't ever see your child again. You ain't got money to keep paying no lawyer to try to fight for your child. These are things that only we go through. This is how you know you are Israelite. You the people of the book. That's right. Jump down to verse 36. Verse 36. The Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. What that just said, it said if you got a king or a leader, he's going into slavery too. Cause you hear that too? We had kings that came on them ships. Yeah, they were slaves too. But when we got over here, that's where we learned all those different gods. We learned Islam in slavery. We learned Christianity in slavery. We learned Easter in slavery. Give me verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy sea forever. So these bad things, yes, they bad things. When you read this stuff, it's probably hit home for you. Like, damn, we the only ones fit this stuff. But these bad things are necessary because they identify who God's people are. That's right. Meaning you're going to take your Bible, read, watch the news. Wait, that's us. It said this is going to happen. Wait, that's going to happen. That's us. Meaning the bad thing is a sign. Like the sign right here say you on Sacramento. It's identified you on Sacramento Street. These bad things identify what? Who God's people are. Sir, come here for a minute. Come here for a minute. I want you to hear this. I want you to hear this. Give me verse 68. This the one that hit home for me. You can't tell me this somebody else. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Come over here. Come over here. Chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Who got brought into slavery on slave ships? That's in the Bible. I tried to go to church for a brief stint, like we all do. You know when you go on that path, you're trying to get right. Why they ain't never read this in church? Do you know what that would have did? You say what? Exactly. Like the sign I showed you. That's somebody else program that they spill every Sunday. If they had read this in church, you know what it would have did to the young man? Wait a minute, I'm an Israelite. I'm God's chosen people. You know what that do to your self-esteem? That'll boost your self-esteem. We think we scum of the earth. We think we nothing. You gotta go, hold on one second. So, based off all those things, off that scripture right there, who is that talking about? That's talking about us, right? But it's something that we have to do. You can do the right thing to it. 
because we went, this happened, because we didn't listen to God. God got rules for the man, God got rules for the woman. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To do what? How you do all that? How you love God? How you serve God? How you do that? To keep his commandments. To keep his commandments. That's how you show God you love him. Y'all follow me? Now let's get some commandments. Leviticus 21 and 5. This is a rule for the man. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Y'all love God, right? Okay, read. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So I'm going to be quick, because you say you got to go. It said what? The Israelite man, that's you, that's me. We cannot shave our head bald. If you are going bald, that's fine. But when you take a razor and you purposely shave your head bald, you breaking a rule that God made for the Israelite man. We can't shave our head bald like Tyrese. Steve Harvey, all these other basketball players, because that's not our custom. That's not our way of life. Then it said, need to make any cuttings in their flesh. What that's talking about, y'all? Not, not, uh, not a little deeper than that. Tattoos. Boom. Oh, okay. No tattoos. Now, I know when you hit it, you're like, damn, let me move around. No, oh, guess what? I got some too. But I didn't know that. Y'all understand what I'm saying? I didn't know this. That's why we come out here to teach our people things that they don't know. You That's need to right. know this. Right. Because if this happened to us, because we didn't listen to God, we need to start doing what God said. We in the ghetto because we're not listening to God. That's right. We get our we get killed left and right because we're not listening to God. Right. I'm gonna start listening to God because that's the this that's the missing piece. That's right. That's the key that's gonna help my people. That's right. So I'm showing you this not to tell you now, because that's what people think. I heard this thing. Tattoos is wrong. God don't want me to get tattoos. I ain't get no more. I still don't got no more. Right. Everybody ain't got money to get laid at all. But once you hear what you're supposed to do, you do it. That's right. What they say, you know better, you do better. So don't get no more. Give me Leviticus 19:28. Then I gotta get some rules for the woman. Because we showing rules for the men. Man got to have a beard. I got to go. Man can't shave his head, Bob. Be quick. Get, uh, drop that. Get good around the 225. We got to get some rules for the one. You got to fly it from us, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure you read it. Read The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Yeah. This, is, this is double whammy right here. This is for the man and the woman. Read The woman shall now wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean, sis? Uh, read again. Read. My man. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh, what mean it? Like clothing? Clothing. The woman is not supposed to wear clothes that belong to a man. What is the clothes in today's time that women are wearing that belong to men? Oh. Pants. 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 Pants, shorts, this is stuff that we don't know. We didn't know this stuff. They don't teach us this in church. When you go to church, you wear what you want to wear. But God got a dress code for the man and the woman. The woman cannot wear men's clothing. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall what? A man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Men ain't supposed to be wearing dresses and skirts. Am I right, bro? I know today they're trying to make that the thing. No, God said ain't no cross dressing. You a woman dressed like a woman. You a man dressed like a man. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Meaning what? God deems that as disgusting. He don't like that. We the people of God. You think you want to see us cross dressing? No. You royalty. He don't want to see you like that. First Timothy 2 and 11. I know you got to go. I want to show you this. So, he wants you to dress like a woman. It ain't just, okay, you dress like a woman, but then you wear a little tight little dress and all of that, showing things off. No, because you a thought of God. You ain't supposed to reveal yourself to all the men. What is the nation? Produce the
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.